fire. But like that shit's super fucking act fucking crazy rated. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I would do a little bit of research and I'd look into it a little bit, you know, like a little bit of summaries and maybe like one guy said something, you know, but not like super in the dark. I mean, I've done some super in the dark. Psychedelica was pretty fucking in the dark. Psychedelica was... Oh, shit. Thought about doing Psychedelica of the Ash and Hawk for the memes, but... Oh, Silver Case, I guess, and the 5th, 25th Horse, but that was all, those were fun. I mean, they're horrible. Absolutely disgusting fucking pieces of writing, but... Oh, Psychedelica of the Bat Black Butterfly, I think it was. It's like, uh, I think it's like a fucking... What do you call it? Who are the guys who did Code Realize? There's one. Code Realize was cool, but that's not that unpopular. It w Nobody played it when I played the first one, but at this point I think it's pretty well-known shit. Oh, it's a Tomo game. Yeah, Psychedelica of the Black Butterfly. That's a Natome one. And I figure because, you know, they were from the same company. I don't think it was the same exact people who did Code Realize would actually be really cool. Because Code Realize was just like an actually decent steampunk kind of like action really thing but psychedelica was fucking there wasn't that much romance which I don't really need the romance so that was what I expected but it was like not too good <laughs> it was better than island I guess somehow but uh um, psychedelica was not too good and psychedelica of the ash and hawk is like a prequel sequel thing set in like a more medieval time period. I don't know, Psychedelic is like, uh... I don't know, this chick wakes up in a fucking weird, like... Kind of like... Twilight world... It's like, funky, like, architecture and... Monsters lurking around and she's gotta survive with these... These other dudes or whatever, and I like, learn about them and why they're there and shit. I think of it as like another dimension, kind of, but it's not really like, uh... <laughs> Even though that explanation sucks, it's still not as exciting as that sounds. It's kind of fun to make fun of. Fine and shit I could realize though, that's uh That's the the goal finding decent shit that I don't see people talking about sometimes. It happens to be that most VNs that are coming out on like discs and shit that I could just rant real quick. Or like I tell me ones, so I, I tend to not. But if not, I have to I go find them on PC or I buy them on Steam. And I already have so many I bought on Steam that I don't buy too many more on there. Yeah, no, I understand that for sure. See, with Psychedelica, the premise was decent. And there were a couple early reviews from like the Japanese version or something that weren't bad. So I was like, well, if I'm kind of going off the deep end, that's as good as it's going to get, I guess. Yeah, I don't know if I would just jump into one totally free willy. I might, but usually a little bit. Always ignore Japanese. <laughs> you're probably right about that. Especially with an Otome one, because you're going to get like really try hard, like Fuji Chick or some shit. That was the problem with uh, when I looked at Ash and Hawk reviews. Was it like really heavy duty fangirls and shit? I'm just like, like don't, don't. I mean, I don't mind some dick for sure, but like, 
I'm not like fucking. No, I'm not very flamboyant or anything. I'm not head over heels, going wild. I see an anime dude, so. I need a little more than just the fucking fan service. Um, I have to take some of those with a grain of salt. I really have only read a couple of Tome ones. I don't think there's anything wrong with like an Tome VN. I just happen to have a little bit more dudes in there than chicks. Half the time, because the Atome is just kind of like an extra force thing, like, the story's about something totally different, and it's like, a little on the side, you get some fucking romance. That's how Code Realize was until the, the epilogues got released. And even then, the side stories were totally self-contained, like zero romance chapters, like they released some. Alright, cool. Beta, Vivid, Puff, Plant. I got a long running list of VNs. I have a lot already written down on my list, actually. I think there's at least 20 something on there, and I haven't actually updated it lately. I don't remember what I own on Steam already. I know I own the faults. I know Gyoto just quit that. I was there, he just quit that shit hard after a few. But I feel like I'd be willing to try reading the whole thing. Fall milestone. I hear good things, but I, I don't know. If the girls are too cute, I gotta be careful about what I hear. Cause there are like add-on points for good art and girls and shit. It being like a medieval fantasy one too, probably gives it some freebies. Cause that's not something you see all the time. We'll see. I think I would do DS area and shit before Fault Milestone, and I'm not gonna play that for a while. Even though like everybody's played DS area in here. Let's trust Goto on that one, yeah. I didn't like what I heard of it, but I also haven't heard that much. I mean you get like Steam reviews that are all like glowing, but Steam reviews are on a VN it can be questionable. Like, I haven't written it off, I just I'm not gonna try it yet. Alright, Chief's done. It's just gone down the list for now. Yeah. At some point I'll figure out a X rated stream or something on the side or some bullshit. We could do Sweet Bull and. Song of Saya and all that. Some short, like, heavy duty ones. It wasn't a VN thread not too long ago. Some of some really cool art. I didn't write it down. That were bad. But maybe some more experimental, funky shit like that. Dude, want. I mean, we can just kill him, dude. And dude, they're pussies. It's not really her fault either, man. I'm surprised Goto played Island. When I first saw it, I was like, I was told him at least. It does not look like you're gonna be in, but maybe the summaries made it look different. To me, it just looked like some slice of life waifu shit. That might have like a little bit of supernatural stuff. I mean, I guess it was less slice of lifey than I thought, but. <laughs> You never expect that mediocre, right? I don't even know that mediocre, that's just kind of... It's bad. Not much saving it. Alright, lady. Clean 
singing river. Yeah, I mean, I figured it would be good. I just think it'd be his cup of tea. Like, I fully went in there and, uh, like, getting ready to avoid everything until he started saying a lot of his shit. Like, I didn't see the pigtails, girls, route. I didn't see really fluffy girl girl. I just mainly saw the main chick. I don't even know if I could rate that all accurately. I feel like that would be cheating because I really didn't get there for most of it. Like, I know it's shit, and I know the biggest beats of the story, and I could probably, like, explain most of it, but... I don't know if I could fairly talk about it. <laughs> what is it? Cause it, okay, um, we're talking spoilers in here too, boys. If you guys don't get spoiled, you should have been out here a long time. But just cause of like the to the twenty thousand twist thing, where it's in reverse, or whatever. Like, yeah, oh, that's real different, dude. It's not. Yeah, like maybe it's like way farther than normal or something. Like, there's more years in there. Dude, it just seemed like a reused bunch of fucking plot devices, like non-stop. They just reused a bunch of everything from every fucking VM or any popular piece of media. Like the same fucking reused fucking dumbass philosophy fucking concepts, same old fucking, you know, time travel shenanigans and all these little tropes and shit here and there. There's so many, I can't even, like, fucking think of them all. Was, everything just felt like it was fucking slapped together by some dude. Like, half of it felt like it was an Infinity fucking reference. I don't know how people do <laughs> I It's always something I laugh at, man. Like, every time I saw Shredder and his cat, I just fucking laughed, man. <laughs> oh, and Jesus, dude. It's not even that the concepts themselves are, like, like, like that bad or anything. They're just used in such a fucking, like, transparent-ass way, like... Just to look fucking intelligent or something, eh? Like, I don't know if everybody's using that, it's not like... I don't know, that deep, man. Maybe it just feels real amateur. Maybe maybe because I've seen it so much, it just feels like it's... The low-hanging fruit or something. I, I don't know what it is, but... I mean, I don't even mind people using it, really, but, like, it's always done and like, it's always, like, in every VM, they'll just start talking, and then they'll just, just drop a fucking, like, just chunk of fucking Schrodinger's cat, and then just go back to their thing, and, like, half the time, it doesn't even feel, like, interwoven, like, that great. I think maybe in, like, Zeroscape, it was kind of worked in there okay. That was also one of the first times I saw it in a VM, so maybe I'm just bias because I'd make fun of it anywhere else. But I don't know, an island they didn't even like work it in, they just it was literally like an afternoon fucking special. Like coming home from school kind of thing. You go to sleep and it'll drop some philosophy and you're like, alright. <laughs> and then this bitch at the end just fucking rattles them back like, oh yeah. We're reusing them, brother. We're reusing them. They actually, they mattered, man, because she just fucking rattled them off real quick. I'm like, dude, this is not like you fucking working past shit and the future bits of your writing. This is just you fucking pretending, man. Okay, maybe it was VLR. It was one of the, like, the Zero Escape games. I think I just said Zero Escape. Did I say 999? Nope, I didn't. One of them, yeah, was like, okay. And it was one of the earlier games I played, so it's probably VLR. And even then, I mean, if I went back and played it now, I would just laugh. I mean, I can't take any of those seriously now. If you explain, if you honestly just put a philosophical concept in, and you just didn't name drop it, and you just worked in the concept, it would, like, I probably wouldn't even fucking care. I probably wouldn't even notice. I'd be like, hmm, this seems a little similar, you know? I just reword it a bit, make it work with your VN, or just the writing just a little better. But it's always just this fucking chunk of fucking shit coming right out of the author's ass, man. I mean, I like how we're all joking about it in the chat. Like, yeah, they're gonna drop Prodingers or something in here at some point, and then like 10 minutes later, they just drop it. For, like, no fucking reason. I don't know what it is about, like, mediocre VMs and doing that. And I appreciate the effort of making something, like, smart. 
but if you don't, you can't actually make something smart, don't. <laughs> don't pretend, man. Just fucking do some slice of life with some the supernatural and call it a day, man. And that was my problem with Island, is it seemed like it was trying to be way... It thought it was way smarter than it was. Like, they were, like, you know, it was... It always thought it was better than it was. Like, the music would be, like, super emotional here. But the writing did not add up to an emotional scene, so it just added this, like, cheese. Like, oh, wow, yeah, we're... This is some uplifting shit, and the dialogue's all... Fucking... He's, like, super dramatic, and, like, you're supposed to be really into it with the music and the visuals, and it just... It does not add up, and it just feels like... This is dumb. Like, the guy obviously felt like it was really awesome, but it was not. To me. But maybe that's because we were just railing on it so hard. <laughs> the characters reference it after the explanation and go, it's like the cat in the box. <laughs> the cat in the box. Every time, man. Start saying the cat in the hat and stuff. Yeah, I don't know, dude. I just. I don't know if the writers just think, like, stupid, or if they think, like, they're just really smart, or if they just don't read much of this stuff. I don't know. I mean, whoever did Island definitely was reading other shit like it. Because there were some hard references it felt like in there. That's what's weird is that... They sure reused so much stuff. Like, people were talking about Never 7 a lot in there, and I, mean, I haven't played it yet, but... I felt like it was... Copying enough already. Should have had played. Alright, I missed the dialogue this guy said here. I kinda I was trying to read it as I was talking and they both failed. All these fat lads. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's that's what I was about to say. I was like it was more like verbatim, man. I just fucking like just straight ripped it, man. Like, uh, okay. Like, I'm all for games with like similar themes or you know, there's some concepts and shit. I'm not gonna be like pissed about it, but I feel like I'm just reading the same thing or like. Just things that are overly similar, that don't need to be, because you couldn't think of anything else, it's kind of like, eh. Really, uh, you could probably just copy something straight up, and as long as like you did it like super well, it wouldn't be that big a deal. It's just funny that it's like, co they, they're like straight copying it, but it's like also shit. Wish I'd read every piece of it. I think I was there for mainly just the parts that really sucked. But apparently the other routes were bad too, so... Maybe not. Maybe I got there for the good shit, man. Maybe I got there for the Kino shit. Kino shit. Talking on my ass too much. Sir Rat was infinitely worse. <laughs> Jesus, dude. Really? I mean, I know he fucking said it was boring as shit, but god damn. Was it boring just because, like. Like, just the writing and shit was bad, or just. Was it just like Night Guys' style? I mean, I know that Godo and shit, he really doesn't like Slice of Life. I mean, I I fully expect it to just be horrible writing, I mean, from the rest. The Slice of Life was even bad. Like, the problem with the Slice... I, I think Slice of Life is totally fine, and, but a good Slice of Life usually still has, like, a flowing story, plot development. 
Some people think Slice Life's just like a stagnation, like there's nothing going on, but maybe a fun little skit, like a bad Slice of Life. <laughs> but that's what the island seemed like. Oh, Karen's was all the romance and drama. What the fuck was it then? Oh, well, I watched parts of Sarah. Was Sarah the fluffy one? She was the fluffy one, right? Who was the other chick? I watched, well, whoever the fluffy chick was, I watched a bit, though. She had something with, like, a, her fucking, like, burning building and her fucking sin and all that shit. Oh, God, I hate when people reuse that shit. My sin of the family and the legacy and all that shit. Because it's such a motivator, you just can't get behind, man. And he, like, what did he jump in a fucking tub with her or whatever the fuck that was? Some Tobo t tobacco, whatever the fuck it was, and... I don't even remember. I still don't know. I think the big fluffy chick was the mom of the other fluffy chick. But because I caught the end of the Sarah route, and they were trying to like pull one over your head half the time with the big chick, I never fully understood what was going on there. I don't know. I saw it near the end of the Sarah route, and it seemed really bad, but I missed most of it. <laughs> One's the uh, minimum score on VNDB. So the other chick just had romance and shit. It's funny how fucking pointless they're- You can tell by, like, like, how much they cared about each character, right? Like, the Twin Tails chick, they introduce her and it seems like, okay, this one's not gonna be that important. She'll have her out because they needed to fill it out. And then in every other part with her in the story later on, she's, like, the least, most, the least important character. She just like crumbles to bits in that fucking last part of the fucking uh, future thing. Or I guess it was the past, right? And then Sarah's there a little bit more and she's like the priest lady, but then the other chick's like the super focus. And it's like you can just tell it's gonna fucking happen from the start, man. I don't know. And this is what you saw, yeah. Generic romance. Ugh. I'm gonna change my shirt. I will say though, watching Island made me really wish more people would play the Silver Case and shit. I really want him to replay that. Or he watched most of it. I like him to play himself. I don't like overhype. <laughs> is that a thing? Overhype how shitty the Silver Case is? Because it's like this. It's just such a fucking unique. It's just bag of shit, man. Like, at times it's as fun as ETD with how shitty it is, but then it's also, like, way more boring than Island. And it's just a fucking mess, man. Of style over substance and just... Just fucking bad, right? <laughs> just everything, I don't know. I would play another one in a heartbeat. Those are fucking good streams, man. We got some fucking laughs out of the silver or the second one, but Jesus. Also had some boring times, man. I feel forced. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. I mean. I would definitely there's not Redeeming qualities would be like actual good things about it are the music. And the second one has way better music because most of it's Akira, Yamaoka, whatever the sign hole guy. The first one has really good music in the, the top. 
title screens, but that's because it's straight ripped from the second game's music. I'm trying to think of some good things about the Silver Case. <laughs> well, there's gameplay in it, too. So the first one has a good bit of gameplay. It's like a kind of like exploration puzzle thing in between the VNs. But for the most part, you auto-solve the puzzles because they know the puzzles are so bad they have an auto-solve function and shit. So, I mean, I didn't even get the full brute force of the puzzles. You kind of like explore around, think like Danganronpa, but like way clunkier and like more puzzles and... But it's fucking weird. And then... <sighs> so there's like two different routes, essentially, in this the first one. One's like you're the police force dudes. You play as a guy this dude calls Big Dick. And like, I can't even explain what the fuck's going on in it. Um, but anyway, you just follow this weird, like, roller coaster of a story that Suda wrote. And then the other half of the routes, and then there's other shit that unlocks. It was like this journalist. And you spend most of the time just sitting in your fucking room, just talking like a turtle or some shit. And like figuring out things that happened in the main route from a different perspective, but it's like ungodly. I think the epilogue for the silver case is the most bored I've almost the most bored I've ever been in my fucking entire life. And like it was insane. How done I was. But there's just some fun shit. I don't know, it's it's a lot of style over substance. So I just feel like Suda wanted to just write a bunch of like one-liners and he just had like a checklist of things he wanted people to say and he couldn't figure out how to like weave it all together so he just he just wrote it anyways and just released it. Like it's pretty unreal. But it's like fun. <laughs> That's what's gonna be sad is he's gonna play them before those. I don't know why he won't do Talos man. Maybe I can warm him in a Talos when I play Gehenna and shit. I don't remember what he said about G Sanjo though. He's probably just not his type or something. I don't overhype the shittiness of it, but I really don't think there's much. That's such a weird thing to say, like... I don't want you to think they're too shitty, because then they won't be as shitty as you expect. <laughs> oh, he knows some twists. Yikes. it through this stream then. Cash in an opinion. I think what it is is I just love hating on Silver Case and its sequel so much. I don't want people to share in the wealth, man. What's up, Ripper? Those are some fun VNs. Hotel Dusk, man. They're like VNs. But, I mean, they're not Japanese-made, I don't think so. Or are they? They might be. I always figured because one of them released only in Europe that they weren't, but it might have just been some other reason. Hotel Dust games were, like, never, like, just insanely awesome, but they're always just solid. And Kyle Hyde's a fucking monster, dude. That guy's actually up. Anyways, what's up, man? Welcome to the drop frames fiasco of a stream. We're dropping just enough frames where I'm willing to play the game. We're dropping about 7% of all of our frames. So. Which isn't good, but, you know, it's not the worst. And I'm at 2500 bit rate, so the stream's not going to look as good either, but... G 
She sends you as like 30 ish hours? Actually, I don't remember. I think it was supposed to be horribly long. Yeah, I should make a VNDB though. I'm generally a lot more generous. Generally more generous. I would have a higher score for a lot of shit than I'm sure most people here. So that's just kind of how I am. I enjoy almost too much <laughs> of uh, certain aspects of things, but I don't think that's really fast. I don't think I enjoy something too much, but. I think the things that are shit, I would still consider shit. But some of the middle ground stuff that might be more nice, but we'll see. I'd have to be, I'd be really critical on a VNDB though, because I've never really had like a rating site. Like even on my Mal, I don't rate shit. It'd take me some time, but it would be fun. Sanjo is also not too long. I finished about three days older. Oh, okay. That's a nice little plus. Action issues usually don't last this long. Yeah, I mean, they're gonna last uh, for I don't know how long now. I really don't. On the off chance they just magically fix themselves. Who knows how long that'd be? Um, the plan is right now. Where's this cat? Right, he's trying to get to me. The plan is right now either I have to persuade the landlords to let people redo the copper wiring. And the, uh, I don't even know, like, the people who run the internet can't come in and start fucking redoing some wires in here, so, the landlords have to do it themselves, or, you know, get people to do it themselves. <clears throat> so I'm distracted by this fucking asshole, let's just go in. So they'd have to pretty much do it themselves, so I'd have to be like, hey, you know, there's a problem with the wiring in the wall, and can you get somebody here to fix it, or you fix it, or something, because that's what this guy says. Like, I don't even know 100% if that's the problem, but that's the only thing the guy couldn't check or fix, so that's where he thinks the shit's coming from. Like, it's fucking up to me, the man is already paying $140 a month to persuade the people to fix my fucking shit. Um, so either I do that, it fixes itself on its own, or uh, I actually got a letter today. Talking about this before. From my electricity company, talking about how they're expanding into internet. They have been for a while, and it's really fucking good internet. At a really cheap price. I don't know 100%. They gave me the fucking letter directed right to the account when they know where I live. But I don't know for sure what's available at the apartments. Because they do have to come install it. I would assume it is. I don't see why they would, like, give you something when they know where you are. And then not let you do it because you can I could like send in like a, they it gave me a letter to like sign up right fucking then I could just send it right back but it's like a gig down gig up no data cap 80 bucks it's half price for fucking god speed then like way more consistent speed so I don't know how long it would take it might not even be close to being ready if I can even do it so we might be stuck with this internet for a while I think if I knew I had to wait two months, I'd probably start streaming from somebody else's house or something. Or I would get people to come out and fix 
the shit and get the other stuff. But, you know. That's kind of low down. I don't know if some people in here have heard it a few times now. But... Lower in the stream quality for a bit. I really don't want to take any breaks on the stream. I've already done it enough. I think it's fine right now. I don't like that we have frame dips, but I think it looks acceptable for what we're getting. Or really, I could probably lower the bit rate even more. I go so hard on the CPU that it makes up a lot for it. But uh, once we start moving into like more 3D shit, it's gonna be more questionable. Anyway, I guess we'll just go right down in there. I mean, what else? What else is there to do? Oh yeah, I was gonna check that. Can I even get up there right now again? I pissed me off with that fight started there. It's all pretty unfortunate because it was working perfectly before. I mean, I was streaming it whatever I wanted. This is actually really solid. Now it's the worst I've ever had. Almost. Oh, not the worst ever. But, uh, consistently over, like, this amount of time, it's been pretty bad. At least I can stream. That was the, that's the difference. The other places, I just fucking couldn't. I couldn't even do one up. Guys weak too, yeah. No, really anything in particular. These guys do a lot of damage. But I also have like no defense. That's the problem. side of the chieftain's house. They meant the left of the den. Is like setting up the humans or some shit. I 
I would like to do more of these side quests, but I almost feel like we should do the main story. Well, maybe we'll do all the side quests. Then we'll do some story. Then we'll have to come back and check every area for chests. That's the big promise. There's just so many things that require backtracking. There's really not much to be done about it. Play ball, man. Re explore if you want to get all the chests, or most of them. If I care about getting them all. I mean, it's entertaining enough, so. I decided I'm gonna hit the hay here. Definitely feeling it a little more now, but. Whew. I don't want to eat too, but I don't want to eat right before bed. Tomorrow will probably be a longer stream. I don't have anything I have to do finally. For a little bit. set it up themselves, man. Strange devices. Oh. I was look I wasn't focused on the TV correctly and the fucking the bright white light just fucking hurt my eyeballs but my eyes are also very sensitive today from all that medicine. So.
been doing, man. The dungeon run. I'd like to have a party for these. Should probably run up there and get the uh the stuff first. Party members to make P. Too fucking pissy, man. Who cares about this dumb raid, man? <laughs> uh, this guy's more based than she is, now, man. What happened? I didn't fucking pull some melodrama with that shit. Based magic missile, dude. Sorry. Two or three right next to each other, man. It's gonna be a lot of time. Let's do the quest first. Such as free XP and mats. It shouldn't really affect our exploration much because we can just warp right to where we need to be every time. And then we'll do a re explore with the, the dungeon stuff.
the gourmet steak. Like no XP for it. I don't like that the XP turns to like nothing. You get too high. The XP is already dipping on these, man. If you should just turn in the the highest ones first, then. Go for the lowest ones and work your way up. I guess the lowest ones. Hide down old timber, royal grove. here in the middle, man. Some cold shit. New puzzlies. Fucking one of these dungeons is gonna have a lot of this. They like to reuse a lot of these. Damn, fucking shit, dude. I'm trying to judge exactly where you're supposed to jump is hard and then doing the diagonals. Even land on that thing, man. Three 
reskin, but okay. Oh, there's anything to the, the ride over here. I don't want to remake the jumps. Pretty bad section. <laughs> Got insta killed. Eventually. Take damage. <laughs> oh no, shit. Well, no wonder that was a fucking issue, man. First time I've ever had to actually do that. I don't even know if I had to. Take it. The boss hog.
I guess you do the other part after you do a dungeon. The Royal Grove. Good ass quirk. Overloaded. <laughs> 